Cinderella leaned against the back of the tombstone, watching the western sky burn with the orange light of the setting sun. Slivers of red sunlight cut through the trees at the far end of the cemetery, casting long shadows. The battered boombox played Black Planet by Sisters of Mercy. It was an oldie, but a goodie. In a few short hours, it would be Halloween, the most wonderful day of the year. What are we going to do this year, she said. We've got to sneak into that cemetery, said Adrian, jumping off a granite slab, his long black coat flapping in the air. You say that every year, she said, but this time I mean it. You said that last year too, doofus, Thorne said, his jet black hair flowing in sheets down his shoulders. We just have to figure out how to get past the guards, said Adrian. You know why they're always guarding that place, Thorne said. Because that's where all the rich fuckers are buried. Yeah, but why do they need to guard a bunch of dead fuckers? Because they don't want people like us disturbing their eternal rest. True, but I don't think that's the main reason. What do rich fuckers like to wear? Clothes. Jewelry, rings, necklaces, and earrings? Yeah, Adrian said, his black-lined eyes lighting up. If we can get inside, maybe we can score some of them. Hell yeah! And what are you two to what are you two going to do with all that jewelry? Wear them, said Cinderella. No, we sell them for cash, Thorne said. Then we'll be rich, said Adrian. Well, I don't care about the jewels, Cinderella said. I'd just like to see all the crypts and statues. You know, back in the day, the rich families used to hire the best artisans and architects architects to build the most expensive mausoleums and tombs. It's like a gothic paradise in there with angels and gargoyles everywhere. Don't tell me if you found a diamond necklace in there, you wouldn't take it said Thorne. I wouldn't. Bullshit, I don't believe you. Well, you'll never find out, because you're never going to see me inside one of those crypts, she said. Want to bet? What do you want to wager? If I win, you give me a blowjob. In your wet dreams. Every night, he said laughing. Pig, she replied, wrinkling her nose. Oink, oink. Guys, let's forget the wager and just figure out a way to get inside, said Adrian. I know, Thorne said. If I win, you have to dance naked on a grave. Deal, but if you lose, you have to give me something, she said. How about I give you a blowjob, he said. Funny. Who's being funny? You are. You should be a comedian. You're so funny. If you don't want head, then what do you want? First, let's be clear. The bet is you have to make it inside one of the crypts, not just inside the cemetery. If you can't, then you have to show it for school in a suit and tie, said Cinderella. Hell no, Thorne said. Hell yes, that's the wager. But I don't even own a suit. Bullshit. I know you do. You're just too chicken to wear it. No, I'm not. I just don't want to wear it. That's why I'm making it the wager. You wouldn't have anything to lose if you wanted to wear it. Thorne looked like he just ate something bad. So, do we have a bet? She said. Thorne thought about it. Okay, you got a deal. The three talked and debated strategies as Twilight came and went. It was Cinderella who came up with the plan to distract the guards. Being the smartest of the group and a girl, the idea was obvious. Even though it meant she was sabotaging the bet in Thorne's favor, she really wanted to see the inside of the cemetery. Besides, the thought of dancing naked on a grave sounded fun.